हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी बैक वाटर कर्व एंड अफ्लक्स कंसीडर द फ्लो ओवर अ डैम एज शोन इन फिगर व्हिच इज शोन हियर ऑन द अपस्ट्रीम साइड ऑफ द डैम द डेप्थ ऑफ वाटर विल बी राइजिंग इफ देयर हैड नॉट बीन एनी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन सच एज डैम इन द पाथ ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ वाटर इन द चैनल the depth of water would have been constant as shown by dotted line parallel to the bed of the channel due to obstruction the water level rises and it has maximum depth from the bed at some section let h1 is the depth of water at the point where the water starts rising up which is shown here and h2 is the maximum height of rising water from bed which is shown here then h2 minus h1 will be a flux Thus, a flux is defined as the maximum increase in water level due to obstruction in the path of flow of water. The profile of the rising water on the upstream side of the dam is called back water curve, which is shown here. The distance along the bed of the channel between the section where water starts rising to the section where water is having maximum height is known as length of back water curve. now expression for the length of back water curve consider the flow of water through a channel in which depth of water is rising let the two sections 1 1 and 2 2 are at such a distance that the distance between them represents the length of back water curve let h1 is the depth of flow at section 1 1 which is shown here v1 is the velocity of flow at section 1 1 h2 is the depth of flow at section 2 2 which is shown here v2 is the velocity of flow at section 2 2 ib is the bed slope which is shown here ie is the energy line slope which is shown here and l is the length of back water curve applying bernoulli's equation at section 1 1 and 2 2 z1 plus h1 plus v1 square upon 2g will be equals to z2 plus h2 plus v2 square upon 2g plus hl which is our first equation where hl is the loss of energy due to friction which will be equals to ie into l also taking datum line passing through the bed of the channel at section 2 2 then z2 will be equals to 0 therefore equation 1 becomes as z1 plus h1 plus v1 square upon 2g equals to h2 plus v2 square upon 2g plus ie into l from figure z1 will be equals to ib into l therefore ib into l plus h1 plus v1 square upon 2g will be equals to h2 plus v2 square upon 2g plus ie into l therefore the complete solution will be l into ib minus ie will be equals to e2 minus e1 where e2 will be equals to h2 plus v2 square upon 2g e1 will be equals to h1 plus v1 square upon 2g l equals to e2 minus e1 upon ib minus ie which is shown here This equation is used to calculate the length of back water curve. The value of IE is calculated either by Manning's formula or by Chigges' formula. The mean values of velocity, depth of flow, hydraulic mean depth, etc., are used between section one one and two two for calculating the values of IE. That is all about the back water curve and afflux. Thank you very much, students.